why Skips has the most depressing ending in regular show. Don't get me wrong, this trippy tune has one of the best finales that you could ever hope for from a series. But there's always one thing that stuck with me, and that's the fate of everyone's favorite park groundskeeper, Skips. In the final scene, we get a 25 year time jump showing all the characters having relatively happy endings. Mordecai, Rigby, High Fives, and Muscle Man all now have families of their own. Emphasis on Muscle Man because Damn, did your boy and Starlight get busy. Benson's still managing the park and doesn't exactly have children, but he's got a pig and a new woman and seems relatively happier than he was in season one. But for Skips, nothing changes. The immortal Yeti still works at the park with a whole new generation of employees. But he does seem satisfied with living this simple life as his one true love died decades ago. Due to being immortal, I question how long can he really go on without the 2010 park game.